And the Badgers start out with the ball. Now the starting group for the visitors. We've got Brown, Murray out there with Johnson. Then it's B.J. Armstrong. Davis against Brown. And Davis can't get it to go. Murray outside. There's the pick. And the call will be against Harris. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Harris against Armstrong, takes it inside, and the basket is good. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Here's Davis. Yep, it counts. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. And it's blocked, and they're able to recover. Has it to Murray. Dishes it to Armstrong. Now here's Johnson. Inside. Another shot. And he gets it back. And the D getting out work there on the putback. Can't let that happen. For some reason, blocking out has become a lost art. And that's the result you'll get. Davis drives in. Rejected by Murray. Johnson surveying the floor. Brown outside. Here's Armstrong. The shot's good. Brown making the play. Three. Armstrong's got his second basket of the night. And although point guard size, he does feature the touch of a shooting guard. BJ showing off his range. Here's Finley. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Now, here's Brown. Rebounded by Kaminsky. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Finley the pass to Harris. Kaminsky inside. Johnson's there. And the basket by Kaminsky. I mean, that's a good job working the ball inside and getting a quality shot. Pass to Murray. Murray a screen on Harris. Here's Brown. And he comes up with the deuce. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. The pass to Davis. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Tipped away. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. And it'll be the Badgers with their first time out of the game right here. And as fans and broadcasters, we're not permitted to hear the specifics in these huddles. No, we're left to infer from the adjustments we see on the floor. So both teams making some changes here. There's 154 left in the first. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Matthews for the three. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Now here's Matthews. Tucker finds Matthews. Now Finley. And again, it's the Badgers missing. Gamble, he's covered by Matthews. Finley with the rebound. Here's the Badgers with the ball, trailing by five. Matthews dishes to Tucker. Pass to Finley, here's the three, 
It's good for his second make. He's made two or three so far. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Pass to Armstrong. Driving to the basket. Straight power, homie. I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. To the left side wing. We've got 28 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Matthews against Armstrong. He lobs up the alley-oop pass, and that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Matthews. Unforced errors. These are the kinds of things that break momentum. Nelson, Joe Wieskamp. Sixteen seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Here's Davis, and finished off by Davis. I mean, he's just making the D look foolish. I mean, that was one heck of a move to get himself the space he needed to operate. And how about the slam to finish it off? Not too shabby either. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Up by six. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Just joining us, we've played through one quarter in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Hey, why take jump shots when you can get your points at the rim? Especially at the start. You want to get something positive going and establish your rhythm. Frank Kaminsky is out there with Decker. Then there's Davis. Then there's Hills. And it's Tucker in at the three. Here's Brown. Count it. His second Frank make Brown. in four attempts. Yeah, that was the third straight high percentage look the defense has allowed. The, the defenders have got to start putting bodies on bodies. In a moment now to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. A floater. The Badgers pull it in. I mean, you won't see this too often. Getting denied at the rim. He's likely to remember that one. Good on the shot. Decker's got his first points in this one. One sign of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. Up top, Brown. He's guarded by Davis. And it's in there. Fred Brown's got his third bucket of the night. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Davis kicks to Decker. Back to Davis. Kaminsky sets the pick for Davis. It's his first trip to the line. Davis taking two shots. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And both free throws good for Davis. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. Murray is screen on Davis. Five on the clock. From deep. The Badgers pull it in. Down low. 
Here's Tucker, and that one is stuffed oh, right through. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. This is a close-knit group. They feed off one another's energy. And the defense to start that play was terrific. And I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. Armstrong passes to Johnson. Plays it up off the glass. Yes, Johnson's got his first two points of the night. Great job executing the offense. That pass on time and on point. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Harris kicks to Finley. Back to Harris. Over Armstrong. That one wide left. And that is the exact type of opportunity this offense is looking to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Moore inside. They get it again. A second chance effort. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. Murray dishes to Johnson. He takes it in. That one goes. Count it. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. Harris outside. Here's Sellers. He's covered by Murray. And Finley gets it to go. That kick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Armstrong kicks to Murray. Johnson, the pass to Armstrong. To the inside. Murray, no good. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Two open that time. Made it look too easy. Finley's got the lead up to three now for the Badgers. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Murray is screen on Harris. Gamble is guarded by Davis. Here's Gamble. You can't get that one, so the Badgers will take it the other way. Pass to Harris. Come get it, come get it. Back to Davis. Fires, high post, and there are the Badgers with another bucket. A much better quarter for them shooting the ball. Now here's Murray. to end the run and no good on the last second attempt this time and that'll do it for the first half a competitive game so far it's the badgers they lead by five don't go anywhere folks we'll be back in just a moment thanks for tuning in did you miss us before we discuss the game at hand let's first check out the upcoming schedule Kenny, did you circle specific games on the calendar? Always the top teams. Everyone wants to beat the best, Ernie. So let me get this straight. You just circled all your losses? Oh, big fella's got jokes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, now let's get into our game. It ended up being a strong first half for the home team. Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Get ready for the Dirt Squad! 
halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Finley is out there with Decker. Then it's Frank Kaminsky. And there's Davis. And it's Harris in at the point guard. Brown against Davis. Brown dishes to Armstrong. Just five on the clock. The Badgers pull it in. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. Murray out there with Johnson. Then there's Armstrong. Then there's Brown. And the basket by Kaminsky. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Murray sets a screen for Brown. And Davis sends it back. On the wing, Harris. He's covered by Armstrong. The Badgers working the ball around now. Here's Davis going inside. As the lead continues to grow, this is just heady, sound basketball. They have just nailed their halftime adjustments. That's for sure. They don't want to have to sweat this one out. They're looking to pull away. Murray is screen on Davis. Shoots it up. And it's Brown missing. The Badgers leading by nine. Davis inside. He's covered by Brown. For three, Harris gets in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got three assists tonight. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Murray, no good. Fast break points is on. They've had a tough time offensively. Yeah, trust is what they're, they're missing, guys. You've got to keep moving the ball and shoot with confidence. Ultimately, things will happen well when you play together. What I like here, even with the big lead, they continue to execute their offense. The They've taken nothing for granted. You can see their plan the moment rather than the score. He's just in for Davis. Harris against Brown. The pass to Nelson. Outside, Davis. And that time, also a missed shot. The Badgers leading by 14. To the middle, here's Decker, and Decker slams it in. And they're getting points. They're getting stops. And this is how they'd like to play all the time. Yes, when it's going good, it feels easy. These are the nights you relish, but they're tough to replicate. Here's Finley. It's enemies a very efficient five for six on the game. And you couldn't have scripted a better start to the half. They've hit every single shot since the break. Pass to Davis. Back to Brown. Passes it to Bullard. Two minutes remaining in the third. Four on the Two shot. Minutes. Brown outside. The Badgers pull it in. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Harris with it. Evans picks him up. Yes, that goes in. Harris has got five now. Oh, wait, hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. What it was, they are getting better shots, which has gotten them into a rhythm, and they're knocking down everything. And the Badgers with some changes. Lure is checked in for Frank Kaminsky. And Sellers subbed in for Harris.
136 left in the third quarter of the game. Brown outside. Nelson with a screen on Matthews. Pass to Davis. Over Finley. Six on the shot clock. And he gets it back. And that Davis. one's good by Davis. And the rebound and the follow show you what he is all about. Gritty and determined with a soft touch to match. Now here's Decker. D right on him. Kicks it to Matthews. With the drive. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Matthews has got his first two points. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Here's Cook. And he drops in the layup off the glass. A lost art in this game. Terrific bounce pass. Here's the Badgers with the ball. They're on a 17-4 run right now. Here's Finley. He's covered by Brown. Kept alive. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Four on the clock. Shoots from the elbow. He doesn't hit that one. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. It's the Badgers. They finish off the third quarter with a tremendous 17-4 run. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, and I, I like the fact we get to see this pass one more time. A magnificent feed. And you love to see your off guard taking over the playmaking duties with this much skill. Very unselfish. If you appreciate teamwork, this is the kind of play that will get you up out of your seat. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. We've got Matthews. He's out there with Davis. Kaminsky out there with Sellers. And it's Lure in at the four-man position. From 12 feet out, gets the front of the rim and out. So frustrating when you can't get anything to go down as you're trying to help your team finish the job. Johnson outside. Sellers pulls it in. The Badgers leading by 18. And there's the pass to Lure. Misses the layup. Here's Armstrong. He kicks it to Davis. Pass to Bullard. Passes it to Armstrong. Over Matthews. And it's Armstrong missing. They're making this a runaway. And the only question for me right now is just how big the lead will eventually become. Davis against Davis. Kaminsky is screen on Davis. It's Davis with the drop. And finished off by Davis. Never a bad idea to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more of them. Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Here's Armstrong. Softly drops in the floor. Armstrong. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Out to the wing. Here's Lure. Bullard pulls it in. Davis against Davis. Pass to Bullard. On the wing, Johnson. They set the pick. Driving in. And then Johnson with the dunk. Oh, Kevin, not a Petty, not a Manny, 
but a facial. Oh, a bounce to the ounce. Greg, yeah, showing off the bunny. Matthews passes to Kaminsky. Back to Matthews. There's the dish to Davis. Kaminsky sets the pick for Davis. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. And they're on the break. Davis has the open look. And he's good on the three ball. You know he's pulling his weight, but they still find themselves behind. All right, fans, get on your feet and make some noise for T-shirt time! Get ready for the dip squad! And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game. And he's just been crushing it from the field tonight, Kevin. Whether it's been on open looks or with the guy draped all over him, he just hadn't missed much. With his percentage in the sky-high range, they've had no choice but to make him their number one option on every trip. What a connection he has to these fans. They love him here. And the more he has games like this, the deeper that connection gets. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The head coach of the Badgers talked to his team during the break. His demeanor was not one of a coach whose team was well ahead. He said this is the time to turn up the heat, make one final push, and try to close out strong. We'll see if they were listening, guys. Thank you, David. Two minutes remaining in the game. Davis against Davis. Kaminsky is screen on Davis. Davis drives in and finished off by Davis. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. Davis with it. Now the pass to Armstrong. Davis with it. Now guarded by Kaminsky. And Davis can't get it to go. And so it's Davis. He'll bring the ball up for the Badgers. They led the game at one point by 20. Kaminsky is screen on Davis. From the strike. Rebound by Armstrong. Armstrong's got his fourth rebound in this one. Murray the pass to Armstrong. We're seeing a lot of top high school players opting for the G League over college now, Greg. What's your advice to top young players on their path to the NBA? And well, Kevin, I think you just answered it. It's their path. And I, and I don't think the same path is right for everybody. There are going to be a lot of talented young men and women who want to go to college for the experience, you know, for the environment, uh, for the networking, right? You're going to make some of the best friends you'll ever have in, on a college campus. Having said that, though, some kids aren't in the college, aren't in the school. They want to just go and pursue their passion and their, their craft, and that's why I think the G League and the developmental leagues that are out there are so good for these young players. Here's Davis. That shot is off. Davis with some nice D. One second separating the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Finley. Over Armstrong. Rebound by Murray. And here's Armstrong. So it's the Badgers picking up the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Steve Smith, Craig Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.